Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to get into a topic that is actually, that's been going on for a little bit now. It's pretty, it's semi new, but it, it, it's been going on now for maybe about a good two weeks now. And this is just a situation with a set of content creators called Fashion Fit, where they got into a situation uh, where one of the hosts had got into a relationship with somebody and things didn't go correct. So we're going to give that breakdown, but I just want to first start with saying that the purpose of this is to kind of just really bring light to the fact that this is actually a larger common thing that goes on in society in general. And in what ways can you learn from it? In what ways can you benefit from it? Not so much just pointing out a situation that happened because the purpose of this channel as always is for you guys to be able to better yourself, learn, and to just become a better person overall, learn from any of your mistakes, um, and just find ways to thrive in life. So jumping into it, the this particular host, they call him Fresh of the two, Fresh and Fit. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to go into the character's uh, real name. But <clears throat> generally speaking, for those who don't know the situation, what he did, this the character name is Fresh. What he did is he kind of got with a girl, a female who she seems to be about that fast life. Um, he knew this in advance. He was, you know, having sex with her without any protection. And essentially what ended up happening is he got her pregnant. Now, um, in general, people should know kind of if you're if you're running that risk, that's a possibility to happen. She asked him to keep that she wanted to keep the pregnancy to go full term and whatnot, even though it was just beginning, she wanted to fully have a baby. His reaction was that he didn't want that. And essentially after drawn out battle of her recording him, trying to make it into a thing where she's trying to extort him to, to either give money or whatever the case is, some form of benefits or, you know, for, or she's going to keep the kid or the fact that her keeping the kid was to get the benefits, whatever her spin was on it. Uh, eventually she gave up as he went to the legal realm and was able to kind of, you know, get free of that situation. If you want to call it that for lack of a better word. So the first issue um, that I want people to kind of take away from the whole situation is especially for men in this situation, obviously this is highlighting from, from a man's perspective. Well, for men to take away is though times are changing, the typical, the your typical, how should I say it, long term, healthy, positive relationship, if you want to call it that, from the old school days where someone was just going to get together at a young age, they stay together for years to get married, the last few years, those days are all but gone at this point. And so understanding that. Um, you have to understand that in these times now, it's just different. There's no, you, you can't really trust somebody in terms of just randomly you happen to get them pregnant and think like the right thing is going to be done, whatever that right thing might be, especially in terms of just maybe you guys having a positive dynamic family. And this also goes on the side of the men too. A lot of, uh, well, because of the dating realm has changed, a lot of men aren't looking to actually, um, sometimes just have a family, have kids with someone. They're just trying to hook up. And in that case too, shame on any man who goes around having unprotected sex and then says to himself, I don't want to have a kid, but I want the female to, you know, abort the kid like that just doesn't make any sense in, in itself. But tackling the just general situation as a whole, the, the, the long-term relationship marriage market is all but dead at this point. So it's important to understand, um, <clears throat> There is this aspect of that I've seen a lot where men will try to have fun with the kind of women they would never want to be with long term. And I think it's important to understand that that in itself is a dangerous game. It's highlighted this kind of fast paced player life now. And that's fine. Everyone could do whatever they want, whatever they see fit. But at the same time, understand that that life is full of the women trying to get over on the men, the men trying to get over on the women. And let's not make any mistake, men who are just looking to hook up and give nothing to a woman is still to some degree, I'm not going to say you're getting over on them, but you're trying to get what you want from them, your gain. 
in the same way that the women in that same atmosphere, that fast paced nightlife atmosphere are trying to get what they can from the men without giving anything up as well. So it's, it's an understood exchange, but after the fact, if anyone gets caught up in this, understand that you have very little room to complain. So with that being said, be aware that though some people, especially men who, you know, they might come from a regular life, they get to a point where they start making money, they work really hard, they they there's this prize, this idea that I could be that dude who I, I you know, I get a fancy car, I'm making good money, I have a nice apartment or I bought a house and I'm living it up inside some expensive area, I'm partying every night, this and that that that's the dream, that that's the goal. And a lot of times that with that being the case, it almost becomes this thing where <clears throat> a lot of people are like, I want to strive for that, not realizing a lot of the layers that come with that. So if you're not from that life and you happen to get to that life, that point, you think it's this kind of almost like a rock star life, understand there's a lot of risks that come with it. And with those risks comes the potential of you being used because you essentially are trying to use others. And if you're not trying to use others, that's not the scene for you to be in because if you're not familiar with that game, you're going to lose at that game. And the truth is, is that, and this was verified from uh, Fresh's lawyer, is that this is a known and common thing for guys who reach that point and they, they make good money and they want to be, whether they want to be a part of their life, maybe they don't necessarily want to be a part of their life. They just want to be a part of, um, you know, just a higher life in general. Like they want to go and enjoy themselves. And sometimes you'll have people who frequent those venues for the purpose of catching somebody. And um, that's something also to be aware of and be careful of, because if someone is part of that party life, if a female is part of that party life, understand that if you're not part of that life and you just happen to be in that situation in the moment, stay away from that because they're going to be used to that and you're not. So it's really just like a takeaway to view this whole thing and say, because I know a, dr a lot of drama came out of it. A lot of people was pointing out, pointing it out from a drama standpoint and this and that, not so much from a learning aspect of it, but I definitely want to put it out there from a learning aspect that for a lot of guys who are, you know, particularly at risk of that kind of situation, even though this could happen to the average guy and it has happened to the average guy plenty of times, they don't have to necessarily be rich or have a lot of money. But especially as you come, you get higher up in life. But then, like, it's, like I just said, there's always going to be tiers of that, you know, tier levels of that. You could be um, a regular guy who maybe you make, you know, $50,000 a year, but you happen to live in an area where cost of living is very cheap. And around that area, you're considered the guy with a lot of money. You could still be the victim of someone trying to get the best of you. Just be very careful and understand that we're in an era now where it's no longer the, well, I may have accidentally had got someone pregnant, but we're going to have this happy ever lifestyle where I, you know, I, I try, I try to make it work. And you know, um, somehow it could kind of make it. And if it doesn't, at least we tried. It's not really that ever anymore. A lot of times nowadays, people are very much trying to use each other. Um, <clears throat> but what are your thoughts, you guys? Uh, leave those comments down below. Um, you know, have you ever been in a situation like that? Have you known someone who's in a situation like that? What was your thoughts on the whole situation in general with this whole uh, Fresh and Fit thing uh, in regards to Fresh? Um, you know, Another aspect of it that a lot of people talk about is how um, this on that show, it's it's a platform, though, you know, for better or for worse, whether you like it or you don't, in general, and this is not always the case, but in general, they're always trying to promote positivity and strength for men, um, though it's more of a pro-man channel. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. They're trying to promote, um, you know, pro-man activity. And so... <clears throat> A lot of people have an issue with the fact that, you know, how are you promoting that? But you yourself are not able to live by that. And I get it. Some people make mistakes, especially when you start to rise in the category of your finances and money. Um, you get to a place where you're seeing new things that you haven't experienced before. And sometimes it's, it's easy to get caught up in that, especially if you haven't been as desired as you may want to be. Because the truth is this, and a lot of people may not realize this, um, this is the case for a lot of people that you watch um on you know on some of these podcasts i even seen uh the the guy dj academics mentioned this in a interview with a female i'm not sure her name but she looks like she's from across seas not the u.s and uh and um fit from fresh and fit who's known as myron but he puts his name out there all the time 
um, actually interviewed this lady before. And DJ Academics had even said, if I wasn't where I'm at now in terms of status, he's like someone like you or any, you know, chick that he'd find really attractive wouldn't even be drawn to him. And so I say that to say there's a lot of guys who, when I see this all the time, they get money and all of a sudden they never had game. They never knew how to talk to females before. Um, and and I'm not blaming them for that, but they, they didn't have that kind of experience. They didn't have that know-how. <clears throat> and so what happens is um, they get to a place where now they're able to have, but they don't know how to turn off the side of them that was still desperate or that didn't know how to hold back. So what happens is they start going for what's um, essentially what they view as the easy target. So if you go after someone who's a video vixen, um, you know, a, a, a party girl or whatever you want, I don't know what that term might be called, but where you're that kind of person who, female who scopes out parties of, you know, where money's at and you just go there hoping to grab somebody. Um, or if you're, you know, one of those people who's just part of that nightlife, that party life, whatever the case is around crowds with money. <clears throat> And, and essentially, um, you know, if you are coming into money as a man and you come around those crowds, you're not going to really know what you're doing and they're going to be able to, uh, you know, see you in that way. And sometimes you might say to yourself, I'm sorry, I got thrown off my thought. You might, uh, as, as that type of man might go hunting for those, like you'll see that kind of woman and you'll know like, hey, they're in this party scene, it might be easier. Some guys go to strip clubs who have a lot of money and they want to take one of the strippers home. Like, girl, I'll give you everything, just come with me, this and that. Not realizing that people like that have been, um, I'm looking for a word in my mind, but I'm having a brain fart. So uh, for lack of the word I'm looking for, <clears throat> people have, um, have asked to have asked a lot of these people to you know um uh, come out of that lifestyle you know what i mean this has been asked of these people a lot of times um you know and proposition was the word i was looking for um i had to take a time to gather my thoughts a lot of these women have been propositioned to leave that lifestyle from many men over the years, many men who have money, this and that. So that's not new to them. And and so you're nothing special. So sometimes like there are these men, these type of men, um, and they're all over the place. Um, you know, I'm not gonna name any specific names, but I'll name some famous people just for the fact that, you know, they're famous. But you have people like uh uh Drake, you have people like Kanye West and you know probably many others but I'm just using those as an, as a few names because of the women that they've gotten with in the past that were strippers or whatever the case is but you get my point that I'm getting at is that um and I'm not saying that to single them out this is amongst many men out there it doesn't matter what background you are or anything like that that there's a lot of men who get caught up in that I see something I really like I have money now I'm hoping maybe my money can transition them into wanting this life with me and there'll be this happy housewife and I'll be able to, you know, whatever. I'm not saying the guy's going to stop being this rock star and doing his thing, but he's also thinking that person is going to kind of give him peace or maybe even be able to be his shoulder candy and, you know, just play that role. Not realizing that they've been propositioned for this many times in the past. Some of them have taken it for a while. Some of them have rejected it. But the point is, is that this is not new to them. It's not foreign to them. Um, and they themselves are not this quote unquote easy catch that you're going to be able to pull out like you think you're pulling out someone from the gutter and giving this the, giving them this amazing life. They have the very life they want to have. So a lot of times weak guys or weak minded guys will go after that just like any kind of weak person would do when they see someone who's practically half naked or strips for whatever living or maybe they go to parties or like I said, that video vixen type of girl and they're, they, they come to the party events and they're half naked and they're like, oh my God, I want that so bad. Um, they have to be easy because look at the way they dress and maybe I can have them and give them this life. Not realizing, like I just said, this has happened. They've been propositioned a thousand times already in their life. So thinking that you're going to be something different is foolish. In addition to that, what I'm pointing out is the weakness of that type of man. You should not be going after that. So there's a lot of guys who get money and they will think, and, and a person from the outside looking in might think, that guy is, he's got to be on top of his game. He's got to be very, um, you know, confident because look at him, he's got money, not realizing he is still the non-confident guy who just happened to have money. 
The problem with that is that you can see it within the types that they select because a person who is going to select right at that caliber, like if you're at that caliber, you're going to select someone who's right for you. They're going to be somebody who, you know, either comes from a decent upbringing or comes from, you know, like you, you, you'll vet them. You'll really try to put in that work. You'll, and, and the first part about vetting them is, do they, do they like to be in a party scene or do they like to do the nine to five thing? You know, if you randomly caught some girl walking down the street of a big city and you know, she's a nine to five girl, that right there in itself is one leg up over the girl who you met at a party automatically. You know what I mean? So, um, because they already are doing for themselves, not that you care for their money, but showing the effort that they put in. So it's like they're doing for themselves. And that is the aspect of that, that has weight. If they're not looking for someone to just come and do it for them. It shows at least when they're, you know, say above 25, obviously, if you're really, if you're younger than that, you're like 20 years old or something like that, who cares? But as you get older, you want to know that a person is not just waiting around for someone to just give them a couple of hundreds of thousand dollars or pay their way. You know what I mean? So, so that is a factor. So bringing it back full circle, somebody like Fresh who targeted or went after a girl who he knew was part of that party life, was giving into a weakness, um, or he was just a weak person in general, however you want to view it, giving into a weakness in that one moment, or the fact that you were just a weak person in general, and you were always targeting women like that. The point is, is that um, that is a flaw to do because you're not going to win like that. And um, even more so nowadays, where a lot of women, women out there are not of the same, and this is not a bash on women, but they're not of the same quality that your grandmother was back in the days. We're in different times now. Everyone's different. And the, the same thing could go for men. Men are not built the same way either that they used to be. But in general, um, so you have to be even more careful and selective of what you're looking for when you're out there. With that being said, you guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, and take care. Be safe as always. I'll catch you guys in the next video.